Hello everyone, this is Rosa from the St. Glona Gaming College and welcome to the 25,000 subscriber Q&A video. Yes, we have made another milestone, though I should have made a more fanfare attempt back at 20,000 subscribers, but no matter. The important thing is, thank you guys so much for your support, and I really do mean that a lot, even though I say it at every milestone. <laughs> Now, I mentioned that I would had a little help with this Q&A, and I'm pleased to announce that I have new animators to the channel. Please welcome RKJ and Kurisu M. RKJ has been helping me with this animation for today's Q&A, and Kurisu M is cooking up something in the works that will be coming soon to this channel. But I'll leave you guys a link to their Twitter pages in the description below. But without further ado, let's get on with those questions. Keiki Mary Gup asks, 1. Why are you so cute? Well, because I am. 2. In the video about Rosip's special training being difficult, was it done in a joking way or did you generally find it difficult? Well, yes, it was that difficult. I mean, the controls were very janky and the driving was very, very difficult. It's like slipping on fucking ice. 3. Not really a question, well technically is, but when do we get more Rosip merch? Soon. Enable Knave84 asks, Will you ever do a War Thunder match slash tournament involving Vigan using Squeezer tanks? I mean, I don't really involve actual girls and men's schools in my tournaments since I really don't restrict on what nations you guys play. Other than China. Commander James asks, Is the girls and men's to film War Thunder project real? Yes! Yes, of course it's real! Are you really going to make the whole film? Well, yes and no that I'm going to make the entire film, well not really the entire film, I'm basically going to be recreating the only scenes that I'm able to be played in War Thunder. So the Ferris wheel is out of the question. <laughs> and finally, are the chads from the Saint Glow squadron of the Girls and Panzer Dream Team squadron involved? Uh, technically yes-ish, there's only been like one or two people from that squadron. Neutronium asks, how much sanity do you think you still have left after shooting the film? Hopefully I will still have some sanity left. Vinny27 asks, what's your favourite Pokemon? Score Bunny. I've had many people ask me what's my favourite tea. Well, it's... English breakfast tea with two sugars and milk, Earl Grey, Darjeeling, Rose Sip, bubble tea either milk, black or green tea with some fruity flavours like apple, mango or passion fruit, and jasmine tea. Fluffy Floof asks, why do you like the anime? Cause who doesn't like anime titties, and thighs, and butt. James Grossier asks, how does one qualify to enrol in St. Colonna Gaming College? I'm asking for a friend that wants to join. Well, are you gamer? As Mizzy Muhammad asks, where do you live? Down under. Tencent49 asks, have you ever been to Kashi's or Cash Converters? If so, what did you walk out with? Well, yes, I actually have been to Cash Converters and I bought two DVDs of Top Gear Series 12 and Series 14. God, I love that lorry driving episode. It's in gear, gear, gear! Come on! <laughs> The War Channel asks, Why do you use Girls and Panzer clips in Japanese instead of English ones? Because sub is superior! Johan von Schiedidi asks, Will the film in War Thunder be your last of your more massive projects in War Thunder, or do you plan on continuing it? Well, I am planning on more War Thunder projects, so stay tuned and subscribe for more upcoming content. Chemex asks, Why are you so fast? Well, because I can't keep still. That or I drink Red Bull this morning. Laran Romus asks, Do you listen to Eurobeat while playing War Thunder? Connect 1525 asks, 
Do you have a favourite military march? Well, yes, I do, but I have so many, so I can't really decide on what's my favourite. But if I had to really pick one, it would have to be this. Have a guess in the comments on which march this is. Orange P Gaming asks, favourite video to make? That's a hard question again. Frankly, looking back at my videos on my channel, only around after my very first Girls of Panzer Crack video, then I started getting better and making more fun videos. But yeah, uh, ooh. I guess it would have to be my Rareworks War Thunder music video, Union. Locks 23 official asks, I was wondering, how can I be a great YouTuber like you? Well, I do have several YouTubers that have followed me and started their own channel, whether it's from my Girls and Panzer Cracks, or my War Thunder content, or my Train Simulator, you'll eventually find some inspiration to kickstart your own YouTube career. Maybe not from even me, for example, maybe others that you look up to, who knows? Though, I would say, take my advice, it's better to ask than to steal. I have people asking me what inspired me to start my own YouTube channel, or why is it named St. Glona Gaming College? Well, if you want the detailed answer, you could check out my previous Q&A. However, I will give you the abridged version. So from 2012 to 2014, I started an old YouTube channel for my Project Diva and Train Simulator content, but then it got corrupted, so that ended in 124 subs. In September 2015, I restarted my channel, then uploaded my old videos that I salvaged from my old channel. Then about a year later, I got into Girls and Hansa and my St. Gloria. Thus, I renamed my channel to St. Gloria Gaming College because I do gaming and I like St. Gloria and it has Rosa in it. <laughs> Speaking of which, I also had many people ask, how did I end up watching Girls and Hansa or even watching anime to begin with? And why Rose Hip? Again, if you want to check out the detailed answer, you can check out my old Q&A, but essentially, I probably started watching anime back in like 2012. The first anime being My Bride is a Mermaid. As for how I got into Girls and Panza, I watched a video from my friend Iron Law, who had Girls and Panza music in the background, specifically Yukari and Erwin singing Yuki no Shingun. So I eventually got into Girls and Panza just from researching where it came from. As for why I chose Rosu, well, she's my waifu. And she also has my personality, so there. Unknown Tanker 312 asks What do you do when you are not commanding a tank? SCP-999 asks, Will there be more projects involving the Girls and Panzer Dream Team server? Well, that's up to the server owner and their moderators if they've decided they want to do more projects with me. Fighting Spitfire asks, If you don't continue your YouTube channel, what job would you like to do in future? Um, Prostitution. I'm Cello asks, When will do you think Girls and Panzer Das Finale Part 3 will launch? Maybe next year, or the year after, who knows? I've had many people ask me what's my favourite World War II tank, or what's my favourite tank overall? Well, for World War II other than the Crusader, it would have to be the Panzer IV. As for my favourite overall tank, it would have to be the Centurion. I have many people ask me as well, why don't I play World of Tanks Blitz? Or, why don't I play World of Tanks? Well, firstly, I ask you this. If you can't afford to pay for the Rolls Royce Phantom, you would buy the Ghost. And basically what I'm saying is, I have a beefy laptop with uh, a GTX 1060 Max-Q graphics card inside it and an, an i7 processor inside it. And for those who don't know what laptop I'm on about, research the MSI GS65 Thin, or Stealth Thin. 
laptop, then you know what I'm on about. But basically, I have a gaming PC. I can run the full World of Tanks 1.0 game than World of Tanks Blitz, which is crappy as hell with its stupid graphics, and I don't really care about quote unquote fun. I can play, I can have fun with better graphics. That's my standpoint. But expect World of Tanks gameplay anyways. Not Blitz, but the proper World of Tanks soon. So subscribe to my channel for when that happens. Rafi Ryan M asks, Do you watch Top Gear slash Grand Tour? If so, who's your favorite cast slash character? Well, yes, I do watch the Top Gear slash Grand Tour. And my favorite is, well, James May. Cheese. Alden Mara Sigan asks, are you going to do more guitar covers of school themes in Ghost Panzer? Yes, they are still in work in progress. Balto asks, where did you get your St. Lorena shirt? Well, the jacket originally I bought from AliExpress, but recently I bought a new one from a Japanese cosplay store, which was licensed by Bandai. And you'll probably cry when I tell you the price, so I'll just show it to you gently. You don't want to know what Pravda's uniform cost. Trust me. Knight Dude 3 to one asks, What were your favourite TV shows growing up? Thomas and Friends, Pinku, Fine and Sam. And lastly, Bill Cypher Gacha asks, Do you prefer Maho, Miho or Mika? Maho. Well, that does it for this Q&A, so thank you guys so much for watching this video, and thank you guys so much again for 25,000 subscribers. Let's get to that next milestone of 30,000, 40,000, 50,000. Let's see where this goes. <laughs> but yes, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, please hit that like button below, subscribe for more videos. Please check out my two new animators in the description below to their links in Twitter, as well as follow me on Twitter as well. Please support me on Patreon, and don't forget, you can also buy my merch. Anyways, I'll see you in the next video. Ta-ta!